Hey, Fozzie and Leo, I haven't seen you all. Hey, Leo. Well, I'm so glad you came because waka waka, what a beautiful day. Do you want to watch a better view for Gordon with us? Sure. What was that about? I'm glad you asked, Leo. So, it tells everyone in the story about Gordon, who wants a panoramic view with all her might and bringing passengers to the new station. That sounds like a great idea. Well, I guess it's time to watch the film. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And no roasting, please. We won't. Gordon was feeling grumpy. This was making James cross. Why are you complaining all the time? Because I'm a big blue legend and I know everything. I should complain whatever I want. You're just a small red engine with ideas above your station. I can't see any, said Percy. Where are they? Any what? Ideas above the station. The sky's empty. Like your smoke box. See? Laughed James. But Gordon was still grumpy. One day I'll show you just what a big engine can really do. So what can a big engine really do? Not smack to those silly little green edges for a start, replied Gordon. Then he puffed away. Later that day, Sir Topham Hatt came to see him. Gordon, you'll be making one stop today with an empty express to test our new station. You can make up time afterwards. Why can't Henry do it? He does. He likes side-winged stations. We'll do as you are told. We'll do as you are. He likes idling in stations. As you are told. As you are told. You will do as you are told. Stop channel surfing, Rio. Uh, sorry. So Gordon did. But he was still unhappy. And he grew sick, too. I just can't get up to speed. He moaned. It's time for your visit to the works. Your pipes are clogged, said the fireman. At last, they approached the new station. Gordon was impressed, but his mood soon changed. In front of him was a blank wall and huge buffers. What a boring view. Important engines like me should have a panoramic view. Where I can see people and people can see me. And he wished angrily. Gordon was happy when it was time to leave. Now you can really enjoy your run, as long as your pipes will let you, said his driver. Okay. <laughs> come on, come on. I can go faster at least in a minute. Oh, sick me, never. But Gordon began to feel more and more feeble. And soon, he came to a complete stop. What happened? His driver and fireman inspected him. Spoken inside you, Gordon, said his fireman. Gordon, said his fire. His driver and fireman inspected him. Something's broken inside you, Gordon, said his fireman. Now you really will have to go to the works. Come I'm on. the finest. We're going to the official opening of the new station. Wait. I'm the finest blue engine on the island of Snowdor. Goodbye, gang. Then there was trouble. As Gordon approached the new station, neither the driver nor fireman could apply his brakes. Something had jammed. The driver reduced steam, but Gordon was still going too fast. Don't do it, Gordon! You have to broke the wall! Oh no! He broke the wall! Help me, please! Well, Gordon, said Sir Topham Hat, I knew you wanted a panoramic view, but this is not the way to achieve it. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Well, that was horrible. I don't know why Gordon just crashed into walls, but at the very end, he made it for the grand opening. Well, Sir Topham Hatt just stared at his face. Well, that's the show. 
for a new episode of Tales of Bob the Builder. Better make sure to subscribe. Waka waka.